Hello you everyone and welcome back to another episode of that lovely, here. lovely game. You're here to demand your rematch? WWE 2K20. No again tonight. There's not going to be a rematch. You're giving up I that easily? I hate this woman. No, there's not going to be a rematch because you're going to announce your retirement tonight. What? <laughs> That's news to me. It's why I wanted to find you first thing. So you could start writing your big farewell speech. But that kind of emotional no. garbage should actually come easily to you. I mean, if you get stuck, you could just borrow something from your earlier writing. Come on, You've man. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did. But we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. Garbage, garbage, garbage. This Love woman is always. a bitch, isn't she? Your mom and dad. Like, honestly, That's come right. on. That's right. I found out you wrote that little piece of fiction kicking off 20 years of lies to your best friend. His wow. real parents are dead. And you've been stringing him along this entire time, making him think they're alive just so you'd have one friend in your depressing life. You never told him the truth, even when he continued to pathetically leave two empty seats for them that would never be filled. Wow. Why? Why are you doing this? Yeah, the exactly. Why? Like, why? It doesn't really matter. Right now, you should be more concerned with the what. As in, what could happen next? I could expose you and all your lies, destroying your life, your reputation, and most of all, your friendship with Trey. This woman or does actually you can need serious help. And I'll make your secret my secret. But one way or another, it's happening tonight. She is a fucking bitch. I know she? walking away from everything you've worked for will be the hardest thing you've ever done, but you have to keep our secret. Please. Wow. And that's how I won the WWE Divas Championship, crossing off one of the most Look, elusive uh, things on the list. But the Divas Championship that's wasn't that. just a title. Oh, that's no. It was more than that. It was uh, sorry, I, I think something amazing just happened. Uh, earlier today, I received a note saying I would finally get to meet my birth parents at the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight, and I, I think they just arrived. You have to be some evil I, bitch. I apologize if I'm a little distracted. Who are those people? I've been waiting for this, this moment my entire life. We're almost done here, so I'll catch up with you real soon, okay? Uh, sorry again for cutting you off. Where were you? There's really not much left to say other than to cover how we ended up here tonight. Oh, when I wow. defeated my lifelong nemesis to capture this championship, the same championship I dreamed of winning as a young girl. I do wish they would have brought back a different title. It was an amazing title. feeling. Like, really? What about the but real women's championship? Off, I was consumed by a range of different emotions. Ones that I hadn't felt in a very long time. But I mean, seriously, who, who actually grows relief, up wanting to win the Divas title? Mind. The fire that drove me throughout my career to come out here. I guess if you were a fan of AJ Lee, basis was suddenly gone. Or someone like I went that, from maybe thinking, Paige. What's next? To what's left? And I realized. That after crossing off the most elusive item on the list, the answer was not much. Because I accomplished everything I set out to do and way more. So I had to be honest with myself. If I kept going, everything after would feel like a letdown. Oh, come on, man. Don't and let the title be clipping through the jacket. Life or remember my career. So with all that being said, I'm here tonight to relinquish the Divas Championship and announce my retirement from WWE no. effective immediately. That's not good, man. Don't bow to pressure. Is this actually happening? Oh. Unfortunately, I, I think it is. That's actually low-key sad. Like, the male characters are... I know Dingus, this but. is probably shocking and some of you might be disappointed or upset but this isn't necessarily a bad thing I've lived this part of my life to the fullest and now it's time for me to go explore other challenges and who knows 
Maybe I'll try acting again. You all saw how my only other audition went. Can't go worse than that, right? <laughs> to be fair, can't go worse than Finally, ducking this game. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for supporting me for all these years. Please continue to back the next women who take my place, who I am certain will be stronger, more athletic, and hopefully a little less temperamental than I was. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's it. That's actually quite sad, man. I'm Thanks, not going to lie. Everyone. Like, the. There's no like real comeuppance then is there? Like surely like this can't be the end. I'm guessing the end is like a WrestleMania match. So I've did my best to avoid like everyone's playthrough on, on YouTube. I'm not really sure what to say. Up until stunned. this point. I think we all are. Uh, no one was expecting this. Uh, thank you. We've got to get even with the bitch, man. I yes, mean, to be fair, you. they did. And we wish you all the best. They did a really good job of fucking making you hate Brooklyn Von Braun. I mean. How can you not absolutely despise the woman? Real talk? I mean, I don't know. You probably can't, right? What was that? You can't retire. You've got years left on your career. I'm yeah. Sorry, but I need you to try to understand. Maybe I could wrap my head around it if I had a little more warning. I mean, when you texted me, make sure you watch my promo tonight, I was expecting you had some clever line about Brooklyn, not that you were going to walk away from WWE. This wasn't something I was planning for a long time. It happened quickly. Do you know what? Like, okay, fine, but what is the worst that done, could happen if done. she was honest about it, though? Remember? No. What? Like, really? Don't do this. I need you to try to understand. What about the title shot you just earned in the Royal Rumble? That's true. And getting revenge on Samoa Joe for everything. <laughs> Ooh, he's this done. is so None bad. Of that matters like, if you're not along for the ride too. You need to think about this some more. You're making an impulsive decision. I've made up my mind. I'm done. Oh, bro. Like that is so bad. Like at least stay on for like a month and win the title. That man I just gave up his WrestleMania well title shot. What the hell? Too. It's like getting rid of two turds with one stone. This isn't over. But it is over. And that's the best part of all of this. Anyway, just wanted to wish you a happy early retirement. Oh my god. Maybe giddy you can on. take up bingo or going to dinner at 3 p.m. or yelling at kids in your neighborhood. If you kick that ball in my yard one more time, I'm going to put you on my list. <laughs> Hilarious. See you, uh, never again. Man, she is surely going to get some come up in five minutes. Thanks. Uh, just let me run through it once to make sure I've got it. <clears throat> what the bloody hell is this man doing? Who will be named as your top ten? Prepare yourself for drama as our contestants get their hands dirty. Glad handing with the CEO of a manure what? company to see who can get the upper hand for their fall fertilizer campaign. Oh my it's god. All hands on deck. Coming up next on America's next top hand model. Oh my god. Do you think there's too many hand puns? It's perfect. It's not heavy handed at all. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> hey, hey, sorry I missed your other call. I'm at my new hosting gig. Look, if this is about getting Baron Corbin a spot on the show, I'm still relatively new here, so I don't think I have that kind of pull yet. Oh, Okay, good, because honestly, I don't think Baron's hands are anything to write home about. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? Really? That That's amazing! Did you tell Red yet? Yeah, she's been hard to I probably lately. should talk more, but honestly, okay, I'm I'll, bored I'll to death. Her. I'm watching this and I'm bored this to death. Whenever this man's on TV... Thank you so much. I mean, I can yeah. see why you wouldn't watch or subscribe to this, but Woo. my lord. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, yeah. Ooh, so you ooh, look ooh, at this nerd. I'm gonna be famous, or I'm gonna be famous, sir. Yeah. Famous. Oh. <laughs> yes. I hate that smart. That's my ring and my championship. I hate you, Brooklyn. Don't we all have moments like that where we just yell at the TV and throw pizza at it? See, I'm not gonna lie. The career what? mode might be awful, hey, the voice acting might be awful, but she is relatable. I think going? that's why I like her. I'm great. 
I'm on vacation at the beach, which is why no one's been able to reach me. I'm trying to disconnect, you know? Ah, oh, that's good to hear. I only have a minute, so I'll make this quick. I just got some amazing oh. news. Trey. We're going into the WWE Hall of Fame together. Really? Yeah, that's all well and good, wow. but where's the come up? I'm shocked. I mean, I thought it would happen someday, but definitely not this fast. They didn't say this, but I'm assuming they want to capitalize on my crossover appeal as host of ANTHM. I'm sure that's it. I know we didn't expect our careers to end the way they did, but it's nice to know we accomplished enough to go into the Hall of Fame. And more importantly, we're going in together just like it's always been. Yeah, it is nice. Hey, I gotta run. The package Don't deal. Too much. You know what they say about idle hands. Ooh, I gotta work that into tonight's show. Congrats. You too. Ooh, I wish I could see Brooklyn's reaction. <laughs> I'm sure she won't be happy. Which makes me happy. Cue Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, there she is. No! Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Get out of my way. <laughs> there she is. Are you kidding me? Those two pieces of human trash are going into the Hall of Fame? This has to be a joke! They were only in the WWE for a cup of coffee. You know She's what? So An actual cup of coffee deserves to be inducted before they do! Ugh. Take it easy. <laughs> we're all entitled to She's our like, opinion, Gah! but there are certain realities you can't dispute. While Red and Trey may have had shorter careers than the typical Hall oh of Fame, my God. the impact they made during that time was tremendous. So it doesn't matter if you or anyone else disagrees, they are going to get the recognition they deserve. We'll see about that. What could she do about it? Like, really? Come on, who? Man, feels like we've been out here for like 15 hours. Hope everyone's still with us. Well, I'm not, but, mate. Uh, I'm very close to getting out of here. I think that pretty much sums everything up, right? Yeah, I think we covered it all. Who would There's honestly run up to Triple H and talk like that, though? List, please. <laughs> it's time to cross off one final list item together. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Yay! Shoot, I think I forgot a pen. Seriously? I've got one you can use. I I'm sure someone else in this arena has a spare pen, so you can go sit down. Take it easy! I just wanted to come up here in front of the world to say congratulations. Oh, and I hate this And finally put our bitch. differences behind us. I would never do anything to take... Trey, even your birth parents are here, which is amazing. Stand to take up, Trey? I feel like that just glitched up, out a little bit. there's one thing I want to mention that you left out of your speech. You see, Red wasn't 100% honest about what led to her retirement and later oh, her no. best friends. Oh, no. In fact... It turns out she has a little secret, which is oh, the real no. reason she walked away from WWE. Why would you she do this? You have to do this? something. She's going to ruin everything. I'm sorry, but I'm done hiding this for us. It's over. What really happened was I found out the truth behind this secret, and she didn't want me to tell anyone. So she chose to retire instead. But I couldn't sit back and let her get away without everyone knowing the real red. This is why, so like, let's start with this. That you shouldn't ever give in, the in to blackmail. They're not Trey's parents. I know because they're fakes I hired to be here. That's awful. That letter you got that said they were coming tonight, also a fake. But if you want to see your real parents, I can make that happen. Here they are. Yeah, that pretty much says it all. And look at the date there. They were already long gone by the time we were in high school. Which makes you wonder, Trey. How could they have written you a letter? That is terrible. Like, first Maybe and foremost, why would the WWE production person in the back put that up on the Tron? Like, this and wouldn't happen. Maybe that person was so miserable and lonely, they had to resort to something morbid like that to ensure they always had a friend at their side. Nah. But who would do such a terrible thing? Certainly not your so-called best friend. I'm not right. buying into that at all, mate. I've, I feel like fucking... They wouldn't do Is that. This and this wouldn't be allowed to happen at a Hall of Fame ceremony either. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, shit. We're not finished here. What do you want? Oh, shit. If you come any closer, I will crush his neck. And the same goes for anyone else. If you try to stop us, I will end him. 
Uh, yeah, that's attempted murder. Oh my god. Come on. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of this bitch. Like, like this would really happen a bloody Hall of Fame ceremony. Fat ass beef between Brooklyn Brown Braun, bloody Trey, Red, and I don't know, honestly. It wouldn't surprise me if, like, someone else bloody started getting involved, like the Miz or something. Oh, bloody old to go out quickly. Yeah, it's nice. Boom. Take that in your nice little pink sparkly dress. Beat the crap out of her. Oh, what the hell is this? Rhea Ripley. I swear, what is this bloody nonsense? Oh, you're going to face, like, everyone who, like... Oh, yeah, these were the people you beat, and this ain't no freaking Street Fighter game or whatever. This is a Hall of Fame ceremony. Trying to face the people that you fucking... You beat over the course of your career. Like, come on, man. Rhea Ripley wouldn't do this. I'm sorry, but I'm finding it bloody hard to suspend my disbelief here. There you go, look. Boom. Missed the bloody kick. We're fighting in this awful bloody red suit as well that literally, like... Don't even cover her whole legs. I mean, I'm not sure if it's meant to, to be honest, but I think Rhea Ripley wears it better no matter what fucking outfit they got on at the moment. Boom. Why is she looking over? Oh, Spear, I love it. Looking forward at Samoa Joe, man. Oh, boom. Big time move, big time shots. Come on, boom, boom, kick. Oh, nailed it. Rhea Ripley's in trouble. Where's Brooklyn? She's fucking licking her wounds somewhere, little bitch. For damn sure. There you go. Kick out. Oh. Boom. Who's next? Sure they're going to bring some... Oh, no. Now, nah, come on. She wouldn't fucking do it either. She's the bloody Smackdown Women's Champion. Why would Becky Lynch get involved in this? Like, she wouldn't, would she, really? She wouldn't get involved in bloody... You know, beat someone up during their Hall of Fame injunction. The man has more class than that. But as we're kicking her ass, it has to be said, oh no, we bottled it. Look at this. Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch have more class than this. I mean, I'm not sure about Brooklyn Von Braun because she can suck a lemon, but... Bloody hell, look at that reversal. Oh, big shot, big move. No, oh, nailed it. Oh, come on, man. Cut us some slack. Unbelievably. This is not what you what would expect to happen. A Hall of Fame induction for crying out loud. Come on. Have some respect. Show some respect. To the people that have. Well I say paved the way. You know they're only great wrestlers. But still. Bloody hell. That, that was not good. Look at Becky going ham. I think we're in trouble here boys. Oh no! Boom! Oh come on! What are we? Are? Oh my days! We're getting our ass kicked. Our own Hall of Fame induction by Becky Lynch. Oh my god! We are being beaten up. Manhandle slam as well, my lord. That's it. We're done for. What a bloody assault! Here we go. Oh, super kick nailed. Come on. We've got to put the last little fucking exclamation point on here. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. That's Oh, come on. Now she's back. They're all bloody back. Oh, Becky, you wouldn't do that. You don't listen to play Brooklyn from bitch. What are they going to do now? Holy crap. Oh no. Choke slam off the stage or something. Oh there it is actually. Oh my god. They're dead. They're dead. And that is all she wrote. I'm pretty damn sure of it. That is it. Ladies and germs. Rest in peace. Oh no. You bitch. You bitch. Look at that. Oh my you I hate that bloody bitch, I swear to God. It's only a game at the end of the day, but I really hate the bitch. Anyway, that's it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Join me tomorrow for the last episode of this. I'm out. Peace.